Are you sad about me moving oh, out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> Hello YouTube people, my name is Kelsey and this is the first video of hopefully many of a video design series. It is both exciting and terrifying and I'm not quite sure which emotion will show on this tiny little screen. But before I give myself any more time to freak out or delve a little bit deeper into myself, I want to just quickly talk about why I'm making this. First off, I need some kind of creative outlet because working a full-time job and a side job and cooking for myself every night and going to the gym and trying to stay fit, seeing my friends and trying to have a social life isn't quite enough for me. Second, before I was an interior designer, I was a TV production and film major in college. And before that, in high school, I really loved making film and video. And this is just something that's really fun for me to do. YouTube is a great place to showcase my personal brand. I don't have any kind of personal brand or real business, but if I did, YouTube would be a great place to showcase that. I like having multiple platforms on which to humiliate myself. And since I stopped using Twitter not too long ago, I was down an app. The real world rejected my application, so this is the next best thing. And finally, I need to prove to my mother that she did not waste her entire life savings on my education by showcasing some of my design skills and projects. Now, a little bit about me. I'm born and raised on Long Island in New York. Just to clarify, it's on Long Island, not in Long Island. But I recently moved to Manhattan and currently work as a professional interior designer. I received both my BS and MS of interior architecture and design from Drexel University. Go Dragons! And I lived in Philly for a little over four years while studying there. Go Birds! I have experience in retail interior design and a little bit of hospitality, but my main focus right now is corporate interiors, which includes offices, workplace, and basically any corporate interior. It's very flexible, so I'm really lucky to have the opportunity to design a bunch of different buildings. In addition to that, I also do independent projects on the side for residential clients, meaning I have one residential job for one client. Like I mentioned before, I moved out of my parents' house a couple of weeks ago to Manhattan. Get out of my B-roll. And it really was one of the hardest things I've had to do lately. I don't have to live with my father anymore. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's fucking great out here. But once you've sweat out all of that adrenaline from your newly independent body, reality sets in and you realize that you actually need to support yourself. And for me, that meant not spending my entire life savings decorating my new part. Because you know your girl is always on a budget. I thought it would be a good idea to give you some insight on how I designed my new apartment. I'm gonna give you insight on my creative process and some tips to help you create your own inspiring space. But if you want more of my design process or to see the finished product, you're gonna have to stay tuned. In my next video, I'll be talking about concept and inspiration, how to create an image palette, and continue on with the process of designing my new apartment. Since I don't have a consistent posting schedule, you're just gonna have to subscribe at the bottom of your screen. You have to click the little bell so you get a notification next time I post a video. And if you made it to the end of this video, I just want to thank you for all of your support. It definitely may not seem this way, but this kind of stuff for me takes a lot of fear facing. Let's see, I might quit next week. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.